<laughs> All right. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, thanks to everyone again for joining our uh, community demo and sync meeting. Uh, today, I think we're a little bit light on the demo content, but we do have uh, some things to talk about in regards to the recent release, 4.0.0. Uh, we can kind of go through the contents of the release notes a little bit, talk about it at a very high level. Um, we can talk about upcoming events with MLEU uh, and what's going on there. Um, and then we'll kind of just, uh, who knows? We'll just go our own way from there. Early Friday. Early Friday. Yeah. Just head to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sure. so, oh, there we go. Uh, so let me really quickly share my screen. I can pull up the release page, with, and we can talk about what's in release 4.0.0. How did you get to that page? How did I get to that page? So when you go to the repo, <laughs> What a great question, uh, James. This is a great, great question, James. Uh, and you check out our releases. We have 45 releases. Uh, <laughs> uh, how that how that works, who knows? Uh, and then from the releases page, right Numbers at the top, you'll see release 4.0.0 uh, with the great docs content written by one James Copperband. There you go. So no longer do you should you go to the wiki page where there was a previous uh, release notes section here, and now just links back to that same releases page. Nice. Um, Thanks. So one source of truth for release content moving forward. There we go. Um, so uh, I think really quickly, I think uh, it would be helpful if we just kind of cover some of these changes. We haven't done that actually, I think, gone through the changes um, uh, in, as a whole for the release. So maybe uh, I think it would be helpful if we just kind of piece by piece talk about why it was important that we did the new Peregrine hooks, for example. And we'll just uh, work our way through that. Sound good? Sound yeah, good? Sure. There we go. So new Peregrine hooks. Who wants to take us on a little journey through new Peregrine hooks? I'm, I'm just surprised that these are new because yeah. they've, they've been, been done, done for so long. Right? Yeah. Uh, but they're freshly released, released. Freshly released Peregrine hooks. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the toast hooks and the toast container was demoed a while ago, and it's been on develop, but now it is officially released. So uh, people using 4.0 will start seeing those, seeing toast really for offline online mode and then for some basic error handling cases. Um, but the cool thing is now the toast hook is there. If you have a case where you wanted to customize your component to Fire a hook off or a fire toast off for some for an event. You yeah, can, you can do that. Yeah, these are um, it's I mean it's worth mentioning the hooks we're looking at here are actual hooks and not um, these aren't talents, right? These are the these are the reusable hooks. So these are things so you can fire a toast, um, so you can get access to the window size as it changes. Um, so you could uh, build anything that paginates or attach event listeners as an effect. You know, without having to wire that up. So, so um, this is all sort of like building blocks, you know, the first few. I have a question. So uh, just for clarity, we we have REST API and REST response hooks here. Um, and I know that we wrote our own use query hook, which is short, has already been replaced on develop by right. Apollo. Uh, did we just do a full cycle where we, we didn't release the use query? It's not in 4.0? Do you know? Does anyone know? Let us. I'm just wondering if. We didn't document it here because we don't want people using it, or because yeah. we're updating it anyways. I'm, I'm not, like, it's possible we cut the release branch before. Yeah, I actually think I think I think this actually is cut query. before we even merge these query. Yeah. Cool. So it's like it never happened. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, then everyone on the call forget what I was talking about. Way to go, Steve. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Jimmy, Nate, or Jimmy, you talked about uh, really quickly is uh, an interesting topic there, which is the difference between uh, Peregrine hooks and Peregrine talents. I know we've, I know we've covered it on a previous call, but if there's, uh, is there a place today where people can go if they're curious about the difference between a hook and a talent, where they can start playing with them? Almost. We got a we got an open PR for it with documentation for the talents. We're just cleaning up some minor, you know, uh, just doing some wordsmithing, and then we'll publish that pretty quickly here. That was written by. James Coffey. As you do. So docs and pull requests coming for talents. So uh, 
you've, you've heard us talking about referring to talents on the recent calls. Look out for that PR and the, doc, and the corresponding documentation. Yes. It's on the way. Uh, component refactors. Any, any commentary there? Um, okay. List, category. Um, so a lot of this stuff, um, this is pre talons right? So these are, these are changes that we made. That's my first Duke and Diablo web comment. Uh-huh. Released? That's my nice idea. Right there. there you go. <laughs> right, so with the, the, with the list stuff, that's some of our oldest component work. I know that uh, a number of different people uh, working on the project outside of this team have actually used list in some of their contributions. Um, Ravant made improvements to it. Andy made improvements to it to manage selection better. Um, recently, we've been working through uh, through bugs in the list components. So, uh, in general, my these have been these have been refactored to be better than they were. My advice, if you're making your own components, though, in general, uh, regarding list, is to actually do uh, mapping of items and managing of selection state on your own if you can. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't actually reach for those list components, but uh, they have been improved in 4.0 from where they were in 3.0. And then uh, for the other ones, it's all uh, UI updates and uh, and generally refactors from classes to uh, to functions for the most part, right? All right. Breaking changes. Um, so obviously there was some change to um, <clears throat> uh, to the Venya and the Venya directories, right? That happened. Yeah. Was was four where we moved everything from concept to UI? Yeah. This yeah. is the first time that we have Venya UI um, released as a 1.0 package, right? So this is well, this is four this is four for PWS Studio as a whole, right? We have a new package which is any UI, that's where all the components live now, right? So it's the it's the split of all the components out of the app, which is many a concept. Or if you're making your own app, it would be it would not be many a concept. It would be whatever your particular app is uh, could depend on many a UI as a dependency, right? And import from it because it's a library. So uh, we'll we'll draw a brighter and brighter line there. As we go, and so as we add ways to get bootstrapped on a project, um, any bootstrap project is basically going to import our code from any UI, and then your code will live in your app. And obviously, there's more detail here in the PR, which is linked from the release notes. Um, so if you're on the call or you're watching the video and you have questions about this move, the separation, uh, but into Venya uh, concept and Venya UI, <clears throat> you can find more additional information here. Um, new build tools, build pack CLI command. I guess that one is not here. Talk about that, but um, this is yeah, but this is just the subcommands for uh, for interacting with .env and for generating the, the cert, right? So these are basic things that normally we just do by hand. You know, copying of an env file and then editing it, right, or something we would you'd have to do on your own in a terminal, but we have some commands for it now. There we go. And lastly, we won't go through all of these um, <clears throat> features, bug fixes, and updates for all of the uh, merge pull requests, but there's obviously more uh, detail here in the in the list that you can actually see. Uh, I think for the number of PRs. That were merged. It was like something like, like over a hundred. Over a hundred. Over a hundred PRs merged in this release. I think that's a big, 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 uh, big moment. Tiny golf club. Well, I mean, to put it in perspective, right? Like the, an open PR at the moment, right? Our top, our top open PR at the moment is number eighteen eighty one, right? And <clears throat> we're looking at like the latest merged. Stuff in 4.0, it's something like 1640-ish, right? Just kind of skimming this. So there's another few hundred issues in PRs since this. So things are things are moving really fast. We right now. are moving. 
Um, so I guess quickly, uh, Jim, do you have any updates you want to talk about specifically regarding release, notes, documentation updates? Yeah, I can show off some of the documentation associated with some of the items. Yeah. While we wait, uh, I don't know if there are any questions on the line about the release. If you uh, if you have any questions, feel free to chime in while we switch to Timothy here. Cool. Thanks. Uh, so the first topic uh, that I published is configuration management. It goes over all that um, environment uh, management and uh, build pack command line uh, interface tool that um, Zellin developed. Uh, you can find this under PW build pack here. Here, and this one, this is just an overview of our approach to uh, configuration management. Uh, there are some reference documentation for the CLI itself. You can find that in the same section. Uh, it goes over the different subcommands that are available. Now you can use them. And also the actual function that you can use, uh, the JavaScript function in your scripts. Uh, the other ones, uh, React hooks, uh, reference docs are also up for the 4.0 release. Hooks, um, toasts, new. Yeah, in this case, all of these hooks are, are new to 4.0. Yeah, so there's this is expanded, and there's one new one for Venya, which is a toast container uh, that goes over how to use that as an example. Um, I think that was. Did you call it a toaster? I'm to call it a toaster, <laughs> but. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great little toaster. Uh, I think that's the scariest a, movie. A new docs. Uh, yeah. Questions? I mean, a lot of the work in this release, right, is all the prep that we did uh, before Paragraph, right, or before the talents, right? Basically, we. This is this is all the work that we did while we were getting ready to do talents, and so the next. Chunk of work that's going to come down is all the talents, and so um, from here it's just this is just road to road to scaffolding and road to extensibility. Right? That's exactly right. So uh, I think in over the last couple of weeks we've done we, uh, a few demos that have really shown the progress that we've made both with talents, with scaffolding, uh, and extensibility. And so I know if there are questions there on where that stuff is in relation to this release. Uh, um, it's not in this release, but it is in a release that we are preparing as a fast follow to 4.0.0. So, right. um, and of course, as we get closer to that release um, and we figure out the timing here, we'll we'll make sure that we communicate that to everyone on the line, everybody in the community. Um, but we we expect for that to be a fairly quick turnaround on on our next release. Yeah, so it's it's like as usual, right? Like for the people on this call, most of whom are probably using. You know, develop and keeping pace with what we're doing. Recommend you still do that, right? There's, you know, develop is still the place that where um, all the latest and greatest stuff is. So if you have the ability to be on develop, recommend that. But if you are pinning to particular versions, you know, this is a much better version to be pinned to than three. So. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, so quickly, let me share my screen again. And let's talk about Magento Live Europe. Um, <clears throat> so obviously this is coming up uh, October 22nd through 23rd. If you happen to be in Europe or going to visit Europe uh, and going to Amsterdam and be there for Magento Live, we will be there. Some of us will be there. Others will be there in spirit. I don't know. Who's going to be there? Are you going to be there? I guess I'll be there. Yeah. Must be nice. Yes. <laughs> I'll be there. Eric Irwin will be there. Uh, James Etlin will be there. Uh, and so uh, if you're looking for PWA specific content, PW Studio specific content, uh, we'll be at, James Edlin will be at the contribution day that Monday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, uh, helping kind of um, parse through our, our PWA Studio backlog. He'll be armed with some tickets for if you're looking to get started with contribution into our uh, repository, into our project, 
um, uh, he'll be there to help with that and kind of guide and, and show people the PWA light. Uh, uh, I think there is also uh, obviously a, a, a session with both Eric and um, James Zetlin uh, talking about PWA Studio, where we're at, where we're going, uh, a larger overview of the project, and then we'll also have some lab content um, on, I believe, Tuesday as well. Maybe Wednesday. Maybe Monday. Awesome know. lab content. Okay. Yeah. Awesome lab content. If, if you weren't at Imagine, you should check out the lab at this particular event. Exactly. And so the, the lab will specifically cover getting started with PWA Studio, getting up and running, uh, customizing, creating your own components, customizing components uh, based on uh, some of the newer uh, features and newer work that the team has done, specifically with Peregrine. Uh, so really great content. And if you uh, are not going to be, if you're going to be at MLU, great, you'll be able to, be able to go through the content. If you're not, too bad, you're going to miss out on <laughs> cool content. No, we'll find a way to obviously I'm not going to be there. Well. well, you got the content. Am I going to miss out? Yes, yeah. you are going to miss yeah. out. I've only got to answer you. All right. Disregard uh, practical responsibilities. So I think that's it for MLU. Um, I think that's it for this meeting. Unless anybody has any other questions, any other comments, any other feedback. Like and subscribe. Yes. Oh, <laughs> new team name. Oh, press X. Uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah, our new team name, Untitled Geese. Our new team name is Untitled Geese. I think it only matters internally, but uh, <laughs> if you see, if you well, see people making goose jokes. Outwards, uh, it may have been, did anyone yeah, outwards know that it used to be Earl Grey? Or? No. I no. don't think so. Probably not. None of us so, know why it was Earl Grey, so now we know why it's Untitled, untitled if, Geese. If in Community Slack you see us making a bunch of goose jokes, now you know why. Because our team name is Untitled Geese. Yeah. Can't be an in-joke anymore. Now everybody knows. Uh, now the whole world knows. <laughs> we know we have all the YouTube watchers. Is that on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, viewers. I don't know if they call them YouTube watchers. Thousands. Thousands. All right. Uh, so I think that's it for us, unless there are, are any other questions on the line. Um, Thanks for joining. Honk and subscribe. Honk. Like and smash, like and subscribe. And, honk. Honk, honk and onwards and upwards. Honk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>